Yo guys and welcome to another video on my channel. Today hopping into yet another rest base build. Now today's base is a little bit different. I usually go for a 2x2 two two or 2x1 two sort of starter core bunker. However this time I use pure triangle foundations to create the bunker and the base itself. This base I wanted to design it so it was super durable, super strong, also annoying to raid. I wanted to make it so you could shoot at a door and not be able to splash onto other doors or loot rooms as easily so you could get multiple stuff at once and you have to do it all separately. As well as that, I made separate little pods where you could have gear sets, hidden loot, stuff like that stored away. So if you do get offline and they don't manage to get the TC, you still got loads of gear to rebuild with. But anyway, hopping into the base cost, and as you can see, the only thing you really need a lot of is stone, and 18,795 stone isn't even a lot, to be honest with you. And the upkeep cost is absolutely insane, with only 1,285 metal frags, 17 high coil, and 3,219 stone. Now, if you guys do go on to enjoy the base build, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like and a sub down below, trying to hit 1k subs before the end of the year, but let's not waste any more time and get straight into the walkthrough. Now entering the base you come through a double sheet metal door and then on the side as you can see there is a shot front so you can look outside partially to see if there's door campers. Then coming through two singular sheet doors this is to make it so you can have them both open like this and it creates an airlock in case anyone goes deep into your first section. Then the next part has three large boxes and two open garage doors above to save time. Then obviously going through here removing this and this half wall you come into your bunker, you're greeted by two locked off furnace rooms with a total of six furnaces, three large boxes, a sleeping bag, a small box and a shotgun trap above the main door. Coming into the next room past the next garage door, as you can see there's three large boxes, two small boxes, a room for your tool cupboard, a level 2 workbench and a locker. Then inside the level 2 workbench room you have a secret hidden small box so you can store explosives, gear sets, whatever you want to in there. And the same in the tool cupboard room you have a fire pit for anything you want to store in the base and hide away. But that's it from the walkthrough and let's get straight into the base build. To start off building this base you want to place down a singular triangle foundation then build a circle of triangles around it. And then around that circle of triangles you want to add one triangle foundation coming off in every direction. Once that's done you want to place a full wall in the centre and then place full walls all the way around the outside. But when you get to where the full wall in the centre is you want to stop and leave this triangle area open. And then coming off this sticking out triangle you want to place two raised foundations. Then obviously you want to go around everything you've built and add a roof to it all so start adding a triangle floor tiles everywhere you can. And then finally in this open area you want to add two half walls and remove the bottom half wall. Now this is obviously going to be the main core of your bunker so it's up to you if you upgrade this to stone however I recommend going to sheet metal with this. Also in the core of the base I highly recommend upgrading this foundation, these walls, this ceiling and this wall here to high qual. The reasoning for that is obviously because the triangle room is going to be your TC room and the center wall should be upgraded to high qual since as they're raiding the doors throughout your base you don't want them to make this wall super weak and miss a load of doors. You want this wall to be as strong as possible. Next you want to build off the front raised foundations with these three triangles and then on this side you can build foundation stairs. I'd recommend it since this is where I'm ending the base but if you're not ending the base here and you want to expand later on leave the stairs. And then going around the outside of the base, you just want to add low triangle foundations all the way around, covering up all upgraded foundations. Then once that is done, you want to go around the entire base, add in floors everywhere you can, and then floor tiles on top of it. Just go around the entire base, obviously upgrade as you go. I'm just doing it full twig for now, since I'll show you what I upgrade it to in a minute. But with the inner walls, you obviously need to upgrade them as you go. Also with these two triangles at the front you want to add four walls, roofs to them and then these half walls as well to seal those off properly. Then add one four wall just here, a four wall to the left here and then two double door frames at the front. Then you want to add the ceiling I'm currently adding just with triangle floor tiles. Then you want to place a half wall here and a half wall here. Make sure these ones are facing out and then this half wall here is facing hard side in since the other two will actually be seeable from the outside of the base. And then finally everywhere there is upgraded on top of the base whether it's sheet metal or high qual you want to go around everywhere add half walls to cover it all up. 
Then once it's at the stage where I'm at, you just want to add floor tiles everywhere on top so everything's sealed up and the honeycomb layer is complete. Then once that's done, come inside the base, add these two single door frames, this double door frame here. Then you want to add a half wall here with a floor on top and then you can remove that half wall under it and then add a double door frame. Then inside the bunker, you want to add double doors all the way throughout, not on the side walls though, only on the center triangles. Make sure you don't add any on the side since we'll be sealing those up a different way later on. Everything we've just placed now, we're going to be upgrading that to stone. You can actually go to sheet metal if you want to. However, I feel like stone's just the perfect stage for this honeycomb in. If you expand the base, obviously you can go to sheet metal, potentially high quality core. It's up to you to be honest with you what you upgrade to, but I'm going to stay at stone. Now we're going to start sealing off the base with doors and shot fronts. So starting off with a shot front here, make sure the hatch is facing inward so people can't jump onto your roof. Then we're going to place a double door here, opening inward so you can get into your base faster and enter safety faster. Then with these two single doors, the first one is going to be opening inwards and the second one's going to be opening outwards to create an airlock in case someone goes deep on you. And then obviously for the rest of the base, outside of the bunker and inside of the bunker, we're just going to be placing garage doors to so go around the entire base and fill it up with all the garage doors you got and place them all down. Now onto the loot placements and starting off with the side triangle rooms. We're going to start off with a tall cupboard room. So place down a tall cupboard here wedged against the wall because then you can fit a fireplace here. Then in this next triangle room, we're going to place down our level two workbench with a small box underneath. Now make sure the small box underneath is dragged as far forward as possible. Otherwise, it won't be lootable later. In the next room, we're going to be placing down a locker to gear up fast. If we need to get back out for fights super quick, we just got a nice gear set ready to go at all times. And then in these last two triangle rooms, we're going to place down six furnaces. If you want to trade one for a locker, feel free to do so. However, I like having a lot of furnaces, so I smelt my metal ore sulfur and high quality super fast now on front of all of these rooms as you can see we're going to be adding a windows to all of them so go around and add a window frames to all of them and then upgrade all of them to sheet metal once this is done i'd highly recommend jumping up and checking that you can loot one the small box and two the campfire in the tc room now usually this would be left open however as you can see it right here we're going to place reinforced glass windows on here when you log off so everything's sealed up perfectly and no one can loot your stuff now you might wonder why I upgrade the walls to sheet metal since the windows are only 200 explosive rounds. However, if they go through a garage door, it's quite hard to splash the garage door and the window at the same time. Whereas if it was a stone wall, they could splash the garage door and the stone wall at the same time. This makes it so they're going to have to use more explosive rounds overall if they want to get into the rooms if they don't manage to get to the tool cupboard room. Now finishing off with the main loot room storage placements and starting off with a small box in the back left corner. Then coming off of that, we're going to place three large boxes. And if you've placed them correctly on the end, you can actually place this small box as well. Now, next, I'd place down your sleeping bags to make sure you have enough room to place them down since that's the most important thing. I'm placing down three, but I'm going to show you another variation if you only have one or two sleeping bags in a minute. Then if you've placed them correctly as I have, you can fit a large box and a small box right here. Then obviously you need to make sure that you can seal up your bunker. So check if the half wall places down and if it does, you can seal up your bunker really easily. Then coming out of your bunker, you want to place this large box on the bottom. And then at the top, you want to place this triangle to how you place the next one. You can place a large box up here. Now this is up to you, but you can actually place a large box here also and upgrade this triangle to stone and keep it there. It might make it annoying jumping out your bunker sometimes if you're not that good at jump crouching, but I'd recommend doing it. And then finally, to finish off the defense, you can put this shotgun trap right here and still be able to spawn in and get in the bunker and out of the bunker really easily. Now, as I mentioned, you could have less sleeping bags if you're a smaller group, obviously. So if you remove one, you can still fit a large box here. Also, if you're a solo player, you can remove both the bags, wedge the bag closer to the edge, and you can fit another large box here as well. The only thing is, if you've only got one bag in this corner, you might want to remove the shotgun trap or replace it since as you can see, it is a bit fiddly to jump in sometimes. But anyway guys, that's been it for the base build. I hope you guys did like it. Comment down below if you liked it. Comment down below if you hated it. All feedback is amazing. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy my future videos and peace out.